Omicron is driving the transmission rate to high levels. Hundreds of new cases daily. Nearly four out of every 10 people being tested in Seminole County, COVID positive. But despite those eye-popping statistics... And we're starting to see a plateau. And what's going to happen, uh, based on every forecast we have seen so far, is that we're going to start to see a decline. Late November, early December, positivity was in the target for low transmission, less than 5%. But while current numbers are in the high transmission zone, the forecast is improving. We're hoping by um, by early to mid-February, based on the University of Florida model, that the numbers will be uh, down quite significantly. What's been true from the very beginning is that behavior matters. People can control the level of transmission. The same same messaging uh, holds true with Omicron that it did when we started this. You know, masking, uh, washing hands, staying uh, home when you're sick, things like that. And vaccines still matter a great deal. Omicron is causing a bump in hospitalization numbers. However, there's not a lot of people going into the hospitals if they've had the vaccine and the booster. And Harris says people who are vaccinated recover faster. He also says for the situation to improve as forecasted requires the sick to isolate. Groceries to your door, food to your door. There's no reason that an individual has to go out of their home uh, to, to, you know, to do things if they're sick. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.